Welcome to my video session. I make video for my uh, YouTube channel called Learn to Earn More. As the name suggests, the videos made are such that by listening to them, you increase your own chances of getting a better job or dealing a better way with other contemporaries. The inputs should help you to get little better jobs. The, the video on sales is basically focused on those people who are staying in smaller towns and towns where the sales job opportunities are on the increase. And by listening to these videos, they may be able to get a sales job or perform better at the sales this thing. For details, you could register to my website www train for future for Zoom sessions. Today we'll talk about how to become a good salesman. In a sales process, you are there, your product is there, your customer is there. You have to create a feeling for the customer to buy your goods. The goods which he feels will satisfy his needs. The goods which he feels are not piled upon him. As stated, sales is a scientific process, scientific process so that you can, the salesperson can succeed. So we'll just try to see what are the things which make a person a good salesman. First is active listening. Active listening is a way by which you patiently listen to your uh, customer. You patiently uh, try and ask about what all do they want, what all are his problems, what are the uh, things he needs. That can be done only by asking questions, asking questions so that you have a good idea, you can uh, give him a solution which can be of use to him. So when you are talking to a customer, try and create an emotional connection. Emotional connection means that he should start liking the product. He can only start liking the product once he uh, is impressed by his needs and your offering. So that you have to start developing a connection. Next comes is understanding the product. You have to understand the product properly. You should know all its advantages. You should know all its disadvantage. You should also know all the features. You should know all the limitations. By this, you can provide him with a fairly comprehensive picture and you can start giving him pros and cons of the sales. And now you must also have a very good start developing interpersonal skills. Interpersonal skills are by which he makes a better connection with you and he starts uh, uh, liking you and wants a better uh, can create a result. Uh, next is you approach sales not as a dubious activity but as a service, as a service which you are trying to provide to others. And that you can only do once you have identified what creates value for the customer. Helping the potential buyer navigate through the concern is the way to make a sale. Next we said keep asking questions. Good sales people always ask questions not only of the well, uh, of, for the benefits but also for the technical, financial and other uh, limitations. And only after listening well to a customer can you deliver a uh, winning deal to 
him, winning solution to him. Next comes is put yourself in his shoes. Try to find out what he needs. Try to find out what are his limitations. Once you do that, you'll be able to understand a customer much better and giving a much better response to all his uh, queries. So uh, that is very, very essential. Then you should be honest to your customer. If you are honest to the customer, then he will have little more respect for you and he feels that you are not there to cheat him but provide a reasonable solution. You should also have emotional intelligence. This will help you to create a trust which is fundamental to influencing or selling, in selling. This ability to positively influence starts with good emotional intelligence. Read about it, you'll understand it better. Next is you try to be likable and trustworthy. To be likable and trustworthy, your own manners, your own communication have to be good. You have to show consideration, regard to the customer. And that is very, very important for the customer uh, to view you uh, favorably. Then you should have a commitment to growth. When you are uh, telling your customer about the things, also tell him the things which will help his company to grow. What are the uh, advantages over the long term and uh, for the growth of his uh, needs and his growth also. Then next be optimistic. Optimistic means feel very intelligent, uh, uh, feel very um, light, feel very uh, uh, this thing progressive, do not feel sad, be confident to try to get the sale. That will indicate that you have confidence in your own product and you can have a better outcome. Even if you don't succeed this time, you'll succeed next time. So have that optimism in you to improve for the next sales uh, call. So these are some of the ideas which I have just shared with you for uh, improving yourself as a salesman and this will like you to improve your own personal uh, rapport with the customer and that's what the selling about is creating a rapport giving a solution and giving a good solution then showing interest in the customer's future growth future problems and who after buying the product is going to need your services later on and you're not going to leave it. So that is the qualities of a good salesman. Keep it up, give it a thought, read more and you'll be able to do better in your scenario in a smaller towns. Thank you.